if you have markers that end up like this one that I often find on my floor because of a certain three-year-old, I'm going to show you just what to do. All right, guys, here I have three glasses with a little bit of water in it. And I went ahead and put my markers without caps in there. And I probably did that about an hour ago. So they ha it happens really fast. So um, the water will extract all of the ink that's stuck inside the marker. So that dried up unusable marker, it all drains out into there. You wanna use as little water as possible because if you use too much water, then what will happen is you'll have very diluted colors and they won't show up on your paper very well. So you can get these guys marinating if you have a couple of dried out old markers in the bottom of your junk drawers like I did. All right, so some drawing today. I'm gonna to do a series of drawings and oh, I've already got a three-year-old crying in the background if you can hear her. So I am gonna draw a pug first to try to pull out some things that I thought that you guys would like and I've been practicing them this morning and hopefully you can follow along. You can use whatever. This is real life, people. You can use whatever paper you happen to have at home. If you don't have any paper, no notebooks, nothing. If you got mail today, you can open an envelope and cut it open the whole way and use the inside. Wah -wah! Usually they're actually pretty high quality. So those are some things to consider. If you have a paper plate that's not the shiny paper plates, you could even draw on a paper plate. Lots of options for paper. I know sometimes paper's hard to come by. In my house, I hardly ever have paper. Line paper is actually kind of cool because it will help you stay on track with your lines. So whatever you got, get it out. Get a pencil, a pen, a crayon, any kind of drawing utensil that you have. I recommend a pencil so that you can erase if you need to. Okay, let's get started. Good to see you. Okay, so I've got a mildly more sophisticated text setup than I did yesterday. And this is what we're going to draw today. I've been practicing my pugs. And I held my paper sideways, so if you're using a piece of printer paper or an eight and a half by 11 is what that standard size is. I held it sideways because I just felt like I had enough room to spread out. Some of your pug faces might be wider, some of them might be skinnier, some of them might be smaller, and some of them might be bigger. Whatever you happen to start with is okay. I sketched this out in pencil first already, but I'm gonna talk you through it when I'm outlining with Sharpie. And the reason I did that was because if I didn't, it was gonna take me 100,000 retakes to get this done. So here we go. I started first with the nose. Start with a V on your paper and put a frown on top of your V. You've started your nose. From there, we're gonna make the jowls, which are the letter U. So from each side of the nose, you're gonna make a letter U that's kind of tilted. Then on each side where these end, above those are gonna be two circles. So you're gonna try to evenly space them and make them about the same size. So circle one, circle two. If you lay your pencil down and they're about even with each other, you know that it'll be okay. I also put a little highlight in here. The next step are some wrinkles around the eyes. This is a backwards letter C and a regular letter C. Pugs are very wrinkly. From each side of the nose, I'm gonna do a little wrinkle down. You can give him some little whisker thingamajigs. I don't know what these are called. I should Google that. You can give him a wrinkle here in the middle some forehead wrinkles. So right now what we've got is the middle of his face. You have two options. You can draw the forehead line, which is a wiggle line that goes from one side of the eye to the other. You're leaving about an inch above the eyes. Or you can draw the ears first and fill that in. For the ears, you're gonna make a letter V on each side of the eyes. Then you're going to do a little whoopsie. It's like a little frown. Two frowns. It's like a double frown. And a sliding board that connects the top. Do a little whoop on the other side. And top off. Looks like a nacho. If 
you hear that whimpering, it's not my pug, it's my three-year-old. Give another forehead wrinkle here, another eye wrinkle. And then you can draw the side of the face. You're just connecting this bottom of the U to the V. Couple of lines for wrinkles. Lay a line down here, backwards L, like a hockey stick. Couple of wrinkles. And you can give your pug a bow tie. You can give him glasses whenever you want to give it. So I'm going to give my guy a bow tie, which starts with just this little bean shape in the middle with two almost triangles on each side. And then this is the extra part of his collar. He has a little line here to finish off the bottom of his mouth and two lines here to finish off his wrinkly skin. Now, if you've drawn in pencil and you happen to have a Sharpie marker, you can outline it in Sharpie like we do in class. Just remember to come back in with your eraser and erase all of those pencil lines that you made. You wanna have good craftsmanship. Now, depending on what you've got available, you can illustrate him with whatever you've got. If you've got crayons, you can color him in. If you've got paint, you can paint him. You can put some fun stuff in the background. Um, I think I'm going to put some cards because I just think they're really cute. If you love pugs, kind of reminds me of Bingo and Rolly from the Disney Channel. I don't know what the copyright rules are where I would do some bingo and rolly. You can also give a little highlight here on the nose. We're going to color that in in a minute. So that's the basic outline of your pug. You can get started with coloring. The eyes are black, the nose is black, and pretty much everything else is whatever you want it to be. Use your creativity. You brown dog. You can have a purple dog. This is where you can get really funky. No rules with this guy because he's all yours. All right, we'll check in in a minute. All right, guys, now I'm going to do a little painting. So if you remember, I've got my pink. Can you see it? I don't think you can see my pink. My yellow, I thought it had red, I put red there. I think we do have a red marker that was just left open. And the blue, I don't know if you can see those. My tech setup is not that great, but I'll let you see those little water bowls up there. If you know it's special about using just red, yellow, and blue for your colors, then you are smarty pants. So we know that the primary colors are red, yellow, and blue, and they mix to make all the other colors the rainbow. So if you don't have, a set of colors like this but you've got these you can make every color of the rainbow so I'm gonna use a little bit of both and I'm gonna get started with my painting So that's a wrap for our pug. I hope you had fun. We will do some more drawings, so stay tuned. I'm editing these as fast as I can and getting them up as fast as I can. I hope that you're all well. I miss you so much. Bye.